In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an AI agent that is deployed on your Facebook page that books you appointments on autopilot. And we're going to do this in just five minutes. Whether this is for you as your own business, or if this is for a client of your AI agency, this is going to bring a lot of value because we could actually deploy this and have this thing schedule us appointments and capture lead information just by messaging with our Facebook page all hands off, not having to do anything. If you are new to this YouTube channel, my name is Brock Messerich. I'm an AI entrepreneur and I'm documenting my journey in the AI space. I'm teaching you all the things I learn as I actually look to build my own AI agency. So if you want to follow along with somebody showing you the behind the scenes, as well as showing you all these new tools you can use for your business and for your AI agency, this channel is going to be for you. So to start this video, I wanna show you a demo so you could actually see this thing live on a Facebook page. And then after that, I'm gonna show you how you could actually do this. I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step. Step. So make sure you follow along to the end of this video to see exactly how you could build this thing out either for you or for your clients. All right guys, so now I want to show you a demo of our Facebook AI agent that will actually book us appointments and schedule us appointments and collect lead information on autopilot. So like I said, this is going to be paired with our Facebook. So this is actually behind the Facebook page. I wanna show you a demo. Let's speak with this thing. So I created a fake just demo uh, Facebook page for a martial arts studio. The point of this is going to be able to book sessions. So let's play around with this, just ask it some questions. So let's just say, do you have any open times for Friday? And it's gonna pull this information from Google Calendar. So I'm gonna show you how to link this with Google Calendar so you could actually pull time slots and then send these, uh, these appointments to our calendar. Okay, so could you please provide me with your full name, email, and contact number? So this is actually prompted here so that way we could capture uh, the lead information and this will be sent directly to our CRM and I'll show you that here in a second. So here we go, I input our information. This information then gets sent to our go high level, which is our CRM. On Friday, we have an open, opening at 5 p.m. for an MA session. Would you like to book the slot or see more available times? 5 p.m. is perfect, let's do that. Okay, so now it should book directly into the Google Calendar and hopefully we'll get a confirmation um, and as well as I set up a email confirmation as well. So it'll send an email confirming this appointment to our email that's on file for this lead. And as you can see here, I just got the email that this was booked and we should see, yep, here we go. Your MMA session on Friday at 5 p.m. is confirmed, Brock. Here's the your event link. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. See you on the mat. So boom, there you go. That is booked directly via our Facebook Messenger. And I'm gonna show you inside of our software here. Uh, this is Stammer AI. I'm gonna talk more about this and how I use this in my offering, but we can then come to our scheduling, view scheduled appointments, and we'll see it here. Boom. So there we go. That is how this works. And this is how we could actually, uh, this is what it'll look like behind either yours or your client's Facebook page. So I hope you liked that demo of this thing in action. Now let's talk about our tech stack and how we actually build this out. So I'm building all of this on top of two different softwares, one of which is called stammer.ai. It is the chatbot building software that I'm actually using as well as go high level. So if you want to join either of those and get a two week trial for each of them, join below. There is a link and join via my affiliate link. So let's talk about stammer.ai. So stammer is amazing because as you could see in that demo, you are able to actually white label it as your own software. So this is something I'm selling to my clients. I'm selling it as my own software where they could either build chatbots, which I actually do that for them. You could also schedule appointments and capture lead information via this chatbot built on top of Stammer. But you have a dashboard where they could see all of that stuff. They could see all the different meetings that are scheduled. They could see all the leads that are collected, all the conversations that go on, all that different stuff. And that is all within a software that is white labeled to my agency. So you might be asking, what's the point of giving them a dashboard? The reason that I give my clients this dashboard is because it increases the value of what we bring them. If I could show them a dashboard that I create personally for them, where they could see all this different, different information and I basically compact all this information into one little dashboard that's easy to navigate, it brings a lot of value to your clients. So all the different clients I've actually set up with this, they love it, you know, it's really cool, it's really transparent to see all this. 
this. So that is why I use Stammer as well as is, it's extremely easy to build these chat bots, which I will actually go ahead and show you later in this video. So now on to the second software I'm using in this tech stack. So I'm actually using Go High Level. And so the reason I'm using Go High Level is because Go High Level is a white label CRM. I just use the CRM aspect, but it also connects us to be able to uh, connect our chatbot that's built on stammer with facebook as well as you could actually hide this thing behind instagram you could have this thing integrated with your sms so that way when you're texting back and forth with your leads it's all done via this you know chatbot that we set up this ai agent that is built on stammer.ai so that is kind of the two different softwares that i use and pairing these things together brings real value to your clients because if you could sell them and say hey i'm going to build you this ai system these ai agents that book you appointments and then you could see all the information via, you know, stammer.ai dashboard as well as go high level. It's, a, you know, an amazing offer that you could actually bring to your clients. All right, guys. So I want to show you in here what Stammer is exactly. So let's go over this a bit. So Stammer is a white label AI software for agencies. And let's go ahead and actually go over to um, inside of my Stammer account. So as you can see here, I have an admin account. And these are our different kind of chatbots within here. You can see this is branded to Stammer. We could build chatbots here, but I don't want to focus on this. I want to show you how this is actually white labeled. So here, come over to this different tab, AI Accelerator. This is the same exact software as Stammer. Instead, this is now branded as our own. So we could white label this and sell this to our clients as our own dashboard. We could brand this however we want for our agency. And so that is exactly how I'm going to be selling this to my clients. I could, uh, you can see here, I'm actually inside of a sub account. This is a sub account I made for my clients. So if you come in dashboard, you can see all this different stuff. Let's come over to my chatbots. And then here we go. We are inside of this chatbot here. Uh, and you could actually go ahead, build this thing out. You could name it. You could have an initial message. Um, here's a base system prompt. I just used a basic base system prompt to actually generate, uh, you know, this chatbot, as well as there is a lead capture aspect to this too, a lead capture function. So if you could see here, we could add different fields and this then asks the leads that are interacting with this for their number, their email, their name, all that stuff that's extracted via the conversation naturally and then sent over to uh, here. Like it'll show all these view, you know, the collected leads here, as well as we could send it over to our go high level, which I'm going to show you later in this video. So we could add any custom field here. We want, we could add, say this is for uh, somebody that's looking to sell their house. We could ask some questions like, when was your house built? How much did you buy your house for? What are, what's the reason for wanting to sell your house? It'll then take all that information, send it over uh, here inside of our view collected leads, and then send it to go high level. And we have all that information extracted via the chatbot conversation. That is why Stammer is so um, beneficial to us as agency owners. And mind you, we could sell this whole entire software, this dashboard as our own, as well as there is a calendar booking and scheduling session here. Like I've showed you in the demo, I'm going to show you how to set all this up. But yeah, I want to show you uh, kind of exactly inside of Stammer what it is. And then now let's go ahead and figure out how to connect this thing to our Facebook page. Okay guys, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna come into our go high level. So if you guys don't have a go high level and you wanna sign up, there is a link below I left in the description to sign up with my affiliate link for a two week trial. But let's go ahead and let's set this up. First of all, we wanna come to automations and we're gonna create a new workflow. So go to create new workflow, click start from scratch. And then let's just name this Facebook Messenger AI agent, and then we're gonna add a new workflow and the uh, the trigger is going to be, um, let's see here, it's gonna be customer replied. Customer replied to Facebook Messenger, let's name it. And then we wanna add a filter so that way uh, the reply channel is Facebook Messenger. So we're gonna go filter reply channel, Facebook Messenger, and there we go. So our next action is going to be custom webhook. So come in here, we're gonna click custom webhook. We're gonna change this to post. Let's cha change this to send query to stammer AI. So for this URL here, you're gonna to wanna to come over to your stammer account. You're gonna to want to come over to account, gonna to go to API. 
We're gonna go to Explore API Documentation and then you wanna come to Message Chatbot here on the left and then copy and paste this API endpoint here. This is what we wanna add as our URL. So we're gonna leave authorization as none. We're going to do header. It's gonna be authorization. Authorization, make sure you spell everything correctly. Um, then for the value, you're gonna to wanna to come back in to your Stammer account and then go to API token here over under account, right here where it says API. Copy and paste your API token. We're gonna to say token and then paste your API token there. From there, we're gonna to wanna to come to body. And from here, we want to go ahead and come to uh, explore API documentation and then go back to message chatbot. And now we're gonna copy and paste these three pieces of text here that are in red. So the chatbot UUID, we're gonna add another item. This key is going to be the query. And then let's paste that here. And then one more, we're going to add the user key. So now that's pasted there. And then now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna come over and find the chatbot UUID and add that as our value here. So chatbot, come to my chatbots, and then go into the, the chatbot dashboard of the chatbot you want to add to connect to Facebook Messenger, and then chatbot UUID, copy, paste that, and then add that here. Query, we're going to, for the sake of this, just start off and just say like, hey there or something. We have to add this here as a test before we actually um, do another step. So just say, hey there or something, just say hi. Okay, so for the user key, we're gonna wanna do contact ID. So come to contact and then just go down to ID, contact ID, say response to this webhook. So let's go ahead, save that action. Oh, whoops, looks like we actually have to test it. So let's go ahead, select a contact here and then just test it. And this should appear uh, with a green banner here showing that this was tested successfully. So boom, that is good to go. Now what we wanna do is we wanna change this value here under query, and then we're gonna to go to message and then add this as message body. So it actually queries this with the message that is sent on, um, you know, via our chatbot. So there we go, let's save the action. One other thing, come up to settings, click allow re-entry. And then, all right, so now that we added this send query to stammer.ai um, part of the workflow, we're going to now want to add another action and this is going to be messenger. So. This is, let's see here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to custom values. We are going to go to message. Oh wait, no, we're gonna go to custom webhook. We're gonna go to, you know, whatever we name this here. So send the query to stammer.ai response and we're going to do answer. So this is then going to send this answer that was then queried by stammer.ai over to Facebook Messenger. So this is a really, really important step. So um, let's just name this messenger. And let's now save this. And okay, so now that we got this workflow set up, let's go ahead and test this on Facebook Messenger. It should be linked with our Facebook now. So let's go ahead and come over here to our fake Facebook page and just play around with this. Let's just say, do you have any classes open for Monday? There we go. So this thing is now uh, connected. You could see this is working amazingly. So one other thing I need to walk you through to enable the scheduling function on this chatbot. So we now have this set up to be connected to our Facebook page, which is amazing. But let's come back into Stammer and actually um, structure this so we could actually book appointments and have it read our Google Calendar. So what we wanna do is we wanna come in here and then I already did this, so I'm not gonna do it again. Um, but it's gonna say connect here and then connect your Google Calendar. It's gonna send you to a different tab in order to grant access to uh, this application being able to pull information and uh, you know from Google Calendar and then also to send um, and book sessions onto your Google Calendar. So come here, you want to mark your availability. So just do whatever your availability is. Save your weekly schedule. And then this should all be ready to go. And now you could then book, uh, you know, these appointments um, via this chatbot. And then you could also see all of the scheduled appointments here. So that is how you do that. If you have any questions, maybe just like comment in the YouTube or in the comments below and maybe I can help you. Okay, so now let's test this out and see, you know, let's actually try to get this thing to book us an appointment. So let's just ask, do you have any open times for tomorrow? So could you please provide me with your full name, email, and contact number? So this is actually because I have the lead capture function set up within Stammer. And so this actually sends this information to 
um, to go high level now and this will create a new contact so I'll show you after this is actually booked what it looks like inside of go high level because this information is then stored and added to our CRM okay so for tomorrow we have an opening at 10 a.m. CST would you like to book this time let's book that please thank you Boom, so we now have a session booked for 10 a.m. And then if we actually go to our Google Calendar, this should hopefully pop up. So you could see, boom, we now have a meeting for 10 a.m. here. Um, as you can see, I've done a bunch of different just tests, but that is how it works. Let's come into the scheduling here and then we could then see all of the scheduled appointments. So boom, there we go, we have it all set up. And then now, again, let's come to our Go High Level. We're gonna see a new contact added here because this information is then pulled from our Facebook um, Facebook page, Facebook Messenger, and then sent to our CRM. So we should see this contact information that I actually added. So boom, there we go. We have me, phone number, email address, all captured by our AI agent. And then if we come into uh, or go high level, you could actually see, um, you know, this conversation we had. And then also we sent a follow-up email. So this is something that I set up personally so that whenever somebody books a session, it then takes that contact information that we scrape with this AI agent and then sends them a confirmation um, email that their appointment is booked. So uh, there we have it. This is all set up and this is all done through stammer.ai and go high level. All right guys, so I hope that tutorial was helpful. So now we actually have an AI agent we could deploy on our Facebook page, as well as we could deploy this on our website. We could deploy this on our text messages. This is something that could then book us appointments on autopilot through all these different channels of communication, either for you or for your clients. So I hope this helps i hope this is something that you guys could actually build out for yourself again if you guys want to build something out like this i'm using stammer.ai and i'm using go high level and i have affiliate links below in the comments in the description for both of those if you want a two-week free trial just to test this out before you actually go ahead and sell these things to your clients so um, with that being said if you guys want to follow along with somebody making ai agency related content and content around entrepreneurship this channel is going to be for you i document all of it as a beginner so with that being said thank you so much for reviewing this video and i'll see you guys in the next one